What's up, guys? Jake, Jake, go back knives. Just wanted to do another edition of New Knife Wednesday. So today we are going to cover the PS2 axe. This is version two. So let's go over the specifications. We'll hit the COA. I'll show you the knives, or excuse me, the axes and the sheaths, how they work, uh, functionality, and the LOT, the logical order of thinking. Stay with me. So let's start with the COA. COA. So comes with the normal commitment to quality. And then on the back, we've got the specification. So overall length, 15 and a half inches, half the length of 13 inches. So that's your handle. Uh, AEBL steel, which is a fantastic steel for axis, if I don't mind my saying. Thickness is just over a quarter inch. Uh, this particular COA was for a stone wash with blue titanium anodized bolts. Um, 21 ounces without the sheath. So very lightweight axe for the size. And the handles are 3D machined unidirectional carbon fiber, so very strong. And they are also uh, partially machined on the inside so that when you sandwich the two pieces together, it encloses the tang of the axe, even though the tang of the axe goes all the way to the end of the handle. Still wanted to cover that. Uh, makes for a lot more comfortable handle. So let's take a look at the knife itself, or excuse me, again, the axe itself. We make so many knives, I forget to say axe nowadays. Let's go take a look. So here they all are in their glory. We have done several versions of the PS2 axe over the years. Uh, the initial version started life as the proof of life axe, which was actually a smaller version of this same head on a shorter handle. Uh, that was a collaboration we did a few years back with Proof Research and some of their really amazing carbon fiber. Um, we expanded upon this with the PS2X having a longer handle um, and then also continuing that generation of unidirectional carbon fiber. This one is titanium fasteners and then we did several versions. We did a black DLC fallout, this guy. Then we did a stone wash. Then we did some work with Relv Camo. If you have not checked them out, they're pretty awesome. So let's uh, show you a little bit of a close-up, and then we'll go into the action and the LOT on these. These camo patterns are pretty sweet. And this is the handle that I was talking about. Each half is machined on the inside so that it sandwiches over the top of the tang. The tang does go from top all the way to bottom lanyard hole. So it is full steel all the way on the inside. It doesn't go halfway and kind of, you know, jip you in that regard. And still very lightweight for a very large axe. Just did a super limited sprint run in this row of camo. Turned out really cool. I like this camo. the black DLC. Sorry, there's a lot of glare out here today, so looks makes them look a lot shinier than they are. And stone wash, my personal favorite. And they all come with the patch. So, let's go into the LOT. All right, so let's go into the LOT on this. Uh, we'll start with the sheath system. So the sheath system has a security strap to prevent it from falling out when you don't want to. Uh, even though the tension on this magnetic sheath is good, we still wanted to have a retention strap just in case. It's got a belt buckle loop, which you can remove pretty easily, and it's got lashing points along the top of the sheath and the eyelets. So, works out pretty well. Like all Kydex sheaths, they all kind of have their own way of working when it comes to how they go in and out of the sheath. On this one, when you want to remove it, you just roll the knife, the axe forward. What that's going to do is it's going to pull the spike out first, then the beard. And it kind of goes in in a similar fashion, a little bit more, put the front in, and click it into place. And you'll hear it click. Just like that. So, that's the sheath. Kydex is cool. So what do we got from here? Basically, 
I wanted to create a ultra light spy cock. Uh, I've done it in the past, wanted to do it again, a little bit larger version. So not too bad being under a pound and full carbon fiber handle, full tang construction. So we don't have to worry about the handle breaking off. Uh, titanium fasteners. So this particular one is green anodized nuts and bolts. That's pretty nice. You can adjust that. You can anodize these if you want, send them out. We have several different versions on our website. This particular one is Stonewash. I personally like Stonewash the best because Stonewash holds up awesome. I think everybody loves Stonewash right now. We also have black DLC Fallout, which is my runner up for favorite color. Um, you know, I don't like color, so I either like gray or I like black. Um, although we did do the rail camo and I gotta say, really dig that camo, especially come winter time around here when there's a ton of snow. And that white snow camo is fantastic. Um, so the logical order to thinking on this, if you've gone back through my previous videos on axe design, uh, I don't typically do a, what you would call a flat bevel grind. Uh, I like to 3D machine the bevels, not because I'm lazy, but because I can produce an edge that will allow the cutting surface to guide where it's going. So I guess that's kind of a complicated thing to say, but basic premises is when you make a cut, these little grooves in the handle, or excuse me, in the bevel itself, allow the guiding of the edge into the cut. So up here, they're angled differently than down here. Down here, this is for utility. Up here, this would be more of like a combative use. So they're larger and they help guide and stay within the cut. You have a initial spike and then you have the utility edge and then you have an upper spike. So if you haven't looked into uh, combatives when it comes to tomahawks and axes and stuff like that, you may check that out. It's pretty cool stuff. So that's it. This is a uh, ultra light spike hawk. If you guys want to take a look at them, hit up our website at www.jacobackknives.com. We also have a dealer list on there for our stocking dealers. Hey, thanks for joining me, guys. This is uh, New Knife Wednesdays. Hopefully I can get some more of these done and bring you guys up to speed because I've been way behind on all my videos. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you. Subscribe.